Good morning. This will be uh, kind of a short challenge this morning. Um, I'm not feeling that great this morning, so don't want to talk a lot, but yeah, we'll see how that goes, right? I have a cough drop in my mouth too, so if, if it uh, falls, out, falls out while I'm talking, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I want to make sure you understand one thing before I get started. I, you know, when I do these challenges, it, it, it's not they're challenges for me as well and i'm just sharing what what god puts on my heart and a lot of times it's stuff he's he's you know sifting me through um it's not necessarily stuff that i've perfected and and i don't want you to ever think that because uh because i have a gift of gab or a gift of a pastor teacher um you know, I still I still go through thing, things just like all of you guys, and and I want you to understand that. Um, but it comes from Second Corinthians five seven, and and I'll actually quote this because it it's short, uh, but you all should know it. It says, "For we walk by faith, not by sight." Or some of your translations say, "For we live by faith, not by sight," which is actually, um, in my opinion, a better translation because the word in the Greek for walk is uh, really means live and you know, live every area uh, or every aspect of your life so and and I'm gonna use a analogy that my mentor my pastor my whole life um, one of the greatest guys I've, I'll ever know and um, that's pastor Ron Adama he, he used this analogy years ago and 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 see what we do a lot of times is um, you know we we say we're walking by faith. We say that we're we have faith in God. We trust God in in everything that we do. But yet we really don't. And uh, he he would use the the analogy of walking out on a, a branch of a tree. And what we do is we walk out on this branch, and God is telling us whatever it is in our life. He's telling us to saw the branch off. You know, stand on the branch, saw saw the branch off. So we. We have this saw in our hand, and unfortunately, a lot of us that say that we're we're living or, or walking by faith, we take we say we have no problem. Yeah, absolutely, God, I'll I'll saw the branch off. It's it's not a problem. But we put the saw in our right hand, and when we put it in our right hand, um, we start sawing. And what we're doing really is with our left hand, we're holding on to the tree uh, out of fear. You know we. We have faith at first, and we, we walk out there, we're standing on the branch, we're, we're talking a big game, and then God says, okay, now saw the branch off. And uh, we take that saw and start sawing away the right hand, and when the branch breaks, we're still standing on the branch holding on to the tree um, out of fear. You know, we're, we're, holding, we're, we're holding on to our crutches, and um, that's uh, unfortunately, that's, that's not walking or living by faith. What God wants us to do is he wants us to take that saw and put it in the left hand. He walk out on the branch and he says, now saw the branch. And that's living by faith. That's walking by faith. Is when you saw that branch off that you're standing on. And uh, you say, well, yeah, well, what do you hold on to? You'll fall. Well, that's when you take your right hand and you hold on to God. And, and that's what he's saying. He says, walk by faith, not by sight. He's saying, step out on that branch and take the saw in the left hand and saw the branch get it out of the way get it out from under empty yourself let go and with your right hand cling to god and trust in god that he's going to carry you and take you wherever it is he wants to take you um you know it's the same thing with with peter when peter got called out on the water you know he, he had the saw unfortunately as he was walking out on the water he had the saw in in his right hand the whole time and and uh you know, all of a sudden, when the waves and the storms, the wind started picking up, fear set in, and he started sinking. And of course, who who did he reach up and grab? Jesus. You know, it's if he would have remained faithful while he was walking on that water, he could have probably held hands with Jesus and and walked all the way across to the other side while the disciples just watched in amazement from the boat. So my challenge is. You know, when you when you step out on that branch, just like Mr. Uh, Pastor Aidmo would tell you, take that saw, put it in your left hand, and if God says saw the branch off, saw the branch off, 
and with your right hand hold on to him trust in him fully and uh just go along for the ride you know that's that's the christian life is is we're along for the ride that he takes us on not that we take ourselves on uh you know worldly thing like i talked in the, my last challenge worldly things that, that give you temporary happiness but the ride and the things that God has for you is is eternal and is unbelievable. And, and and going through life, being able to just hold on to Him and and let Him take you, uh, you know, through tough times and through great great times is is such a learning experience and and such a rewarding experience for eternity. And that's what it's all about. So this morning, step out on the branch, whatever it is in your life, finally let go. Step out on that branch, take the saw in the left hand and saw it off and uh, cling to God. And I'm telling you, that will truly show you what it means to live or to walk by faith and not by sight. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, it's Monday, I know, but uh, if you're listening to this, God gave you another day. And if he gives you another day, it's a day to glorify him and uh, try to grow closer to him and more like Christ. Um, have a wonderful week. And I'll see some of you real soon.